happens. Joining us now to take this up and, uh, you know, possible high-level changes uh, following the midterms, Niger Ennis, the national spokesperson for the Congress on Racial Equality. Great to see you, Niger. Gina Lam hey, joins us as well, political analyst, member of the President's Media Advisory Board, author of the terrific book, Mad Politics, which we recommend to you highly. Great to see you both. You. Gina, let me start with you. with you. How could sure. someone involved in national security not understand power to the degree that they would work pretty hard not to offend the first lady? Yes, I can't imagine, Lou, that you would want to offend the first lady. And the first lady seems to me to be somebody with an ex exceedingly high level of tolerance for people uh, who are, are critical or, or bombastic in, in, a, in a myriad of forms, especially the media. Um, and so I, I'm a little bit surprised by this story as well. But I think that the left sort of leaps onto these stories, Lou, of palace intrigue, which I don't think are all that intriguing in a lot of cases, because yeah. in, in, this is a president who works people 20 hours a day. We know this, Lou. And so we shouldn't be surprised, especially right after midterms, that there are going to be some changes. There are going to be some changes, and particularly when the uh, the First Lady's Chief of Staff releases a statement saying that someone doesn't deserve to be in the White House, it rises above the usual uh, reportage of the uh, fake news, uh, don't you think, Niger? Absolutely. I think Rick Cardell is gone. I think it is absolutely abysmally foolish on her part to, uh, from what I understand, the squabble was over seating on uh, the plane uh, to oh. Africa when the first lady went to Africa, which is absurd. Uh, and it is not wise to get into the fight, uh, get into a fight with the first lady of the United States. I think uh, Kelly has been rumored to wanting to leave and that Trump wants him out. I'm not so sure how true that is. No, I, I, don't think Kelly, yeah. I think Kelly has been a very stable force uh, within the administration. Um, if he decides to go because of just timing, uh, that's fine. But I think his tenure was a very solid tenure. He brought a great deal of stability and normalcy uh, to the White House. And I think regardless of, mm -hmm. of personality conflicts that might have existed between him and the president, it seemed to have worked out very well for uh, this administration. Nielsen, on the other hand, I think there's a little bit more to that rumor. There are a lot of folk, uh, perhaps you, Lou, uh, certainly our, our buddy Ann Coulter, and others that had real doubts about Nielsen being mm -hmm. Homeland Security Secretary, uh, being strong on immigration and on building the wall. Yeah. And, I, and, and it's been expressed and reported that the president has been very frustrated with uh, her lack of aggression in dealing with the illegal immigration problem. So I think those rumors could very well be true. And like Gina said, it's not unusual yeah. uh, that there be turnover in the administration. Yeah. There, there, there's nothing unusual, but uh, all of the reporting today is uh, worthy of note. I, I want to. Gina, I want to turn to you. You know Palm Beach, uh, and Palm Beach and Broward counties are acting like, <laughs> like they're history. Uh, they're reenacting it. Uh, they've got huge problems. You were down at the Board of uh, Elections. What, what do you think? Yeah, I, I was at uh, Palm Beach County today. I will be at Broward County tomorrow morning. Uh, my husband has actually done the official watching of it. And so I, I'm quite, uh, I know more about this, Lou, than I ever wanted to know, let me assure you. The chain of custody is really the problem here. There is a lot of fraud that takes place before things before the ballots ever hit, right, before they're ever actually all in this massive warehouse that we're looking at now. But even in this massive warehouse, Lou, you should know that Republicans are cordoned off by the supervisor of elections to this tiny little section and not allowed to be in any other part of this massive warehouse where all of these ballots sit. So when they come back out yeah. to be counted or to be evaluated or judged in their, in their court there, um, it makes you wonder where they've been, who's had their hands on them. Now, they'll who's, tell you their shares allowed? around. And there are who is putting up with a board of elections that would do that. Uh, I mean, I'm sure the Republican Party has some high powered attorneys there. Uh, uh, and by the way, they do control the governor's office. Uh, why not move in and take control of this thing? Why would they, Niger, why would anybody put up with that in either party? I think that is absolutely the question. I don't understand how the heck Snipes not only got appointed to the position in Broward County, but after getting Talk smacked to Jeb down. Bush. 
Uh, yeah, and, and after getting smacked down by several judges for mixing uh, mm. legitimate provisional ballots with illegitimate uh, ballots, De uh, being destroying questioned ballots? several times, yeah. destroying ballots. It's like, how did this lady keep her position? How the heck is she in this powerful position? The other question is... That, let me a, answer a, a, that question. That's Governor Rick Scott, who chose not to do anything. Which is which is unfortunate. Uh, it, 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 obvious question. There were a, a tremendous hurricane that hit several yep. parts of Florida, several counties, including uh, counties in the Panhandle. Somehow they were able to get in right. their uh, provisional the ballots, their regular ballots in, and Broward uh, has, has mysteriously coming up with new votes. Niger, and by the way, that's one of Matt Gates' great tweets talking about the, the counties that uh, were hit by hurricanes and had no problem making the deadlines. Uh, Niger Ennis, great to see you. Gina Loudon, great to see you. Thank you both. You too, Lou. You Thank too, you. Lou. Thanks so much. Thank you.